faced more than nine years in prison because she wasn't convicted of kidnapping. The maximum prison sentence of 27 years, so that was off the table. Our in-depth coverage continues now with ABC 15's Adam Slinger, who was outside the courthouse today. Adam, I was just talking with Chris, and we were talking about how Elizabeth Johnson went off script here. I was wondering if her attorney was surprised by that. Was that something that was planned? Because she said some pretty interesting things, even admitting that she wanted the maximum sentence. Yeah, they were saying this is her chance to address the judge and to say what she wanted to say, and she did just that. Stephanie, you mentioned him by name. Let's bring him in, defense attorney Mark Victor. Mark, you were at Elizabeth's side uh, when she heard the sentence. What was her reaction? She actually was very pleased with the sentence. And Elizabeth was, you know, when we got involved in this case, she was expecting that this was going to be many decades of her life. And so at the end of the day, look, I was asking for probation. Uh, I would have liked even a better sentence than we got, but she was clearly thrilled with the sentence. She was very thankful. She was happy. Her family was happy as well. Did you think that she would actually walk out of here free today with just probation, or was that just a hope? Well, it was a hope. I mean, we never knew for sure. It was totally up to the judge, but it was a possibility because the case was in a position where that was an option for the judge. And uh, I think that, frankly, there were good arguments for her to walk out today on a probation grant. She'll have four years probation when she does get out. You're saying you believe she'll get out in about a year with good behavior. Uh, do you think she'll cooperate with those restri restrictions on her, on her probation? Will she follow the rules? I think she will. I think she's going to make a, a real, sincere, honest effort to follow all the terms and conditions of her probation. I think she's learned a lot from this experience. She's grown up. I think we're going to have a much improved Elizabeth Johnson when she gets released. Did you know what she was going to say today when she addressed the judge? Well, some of it we certainly knew, and we talked to her about what she would say. But, you know, it's her sentencing, and she's entitled to say whatever she thinks is right. And uh, I'm certainly not going to, especially in a case where she didn't testify at the trial, I'm not going to restrain her in terms of what she wanted to say. And real quick, the million-dollar question, where is baby Gabriel? Hopefully, baby Gabriel is with a wonderful family, being raised in a much better situation than he would have been otherwise. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time today. Mark Victor, defense attorney for uh, Elizabeth Johnson. Of course, uh, prosecutors got exactly what they wanted here, five years plus in prison. The family of baby Gabriel, his parents or his father's family, asking for the maximum sentence, nine years. Here was their reaction today. They made her a smoking deal. Walk out of the court today, probation, just tell us what she did with Gabriel. And that pretty much tells you what she did with Gabriel. Three years later, Stephanie, we still do not know where baby Gabriel is. He would be turning four years old this April. Strong words from that family. Uh, Adam Slinger, thank you. The woman who